For the first time in more than 100 years, researchers have found a new way for snakes to move and climb. CBS 4's Dylan Thomas spoke with one of the researchers who made this slithering discovery. This snake has been very well studied, and yet we're just discovering this. After 30 years of studying the brown tree snake, Colorado State University's Julie Savage said researchers were shocked to see snakes have a fifth form of locomotion. We were absolutely amazed. Well, it was an accidental discovery. For more than a century, snakes were thought to only have four forms of motion. We found a fifth type, uh, which we named lasso locomotion. The discovery was made in Guam, where Savage and others were trying to find a way to save native birds from the invasive brown tree snake. It was accidentally introduced to the Pacific Island and since decimated native bird populations. But when they placed a smooth cylinder to protect a bird's nest, the snake still scaled. I had never seen anything like it before. The snake wrapped around the cylinder, gripping onto itself and slowly shuffled upward. It has these little bends in the body and those move upward. It looks like a wave, a wave that gradually moves the, the snake upward. While effective, the lasso locomotion is a strenuous and timely process. You can see the snake actually heavily breathing. While the discovery may make preservation of bird species more more difficult than hoped. We were disappointed that they could defeat our baffle, but uh, it was kind of exciting to be seeing something so unique. Savage said she was thrilled to be part of a discovery which alters how humans understand the slithery and scaly creatures. Even though we think we know a species, there's so much more to learn. I'm Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First. Just fascinating. We're all I mesmerized really watching this. We're like, look at that. Yeah. That's something. Well, coming up.